think I'm going to try these on. These two. What do you think about these? I think they're nice. How about these? I think they're nice. How about these cute burgundy ones? I think they're nice. Okay, you're officially not helping. Here, let me help you with those. You can keep shopping for shoes and uh, I'll hold these for you. Here, let me help you with that. Do you... Do you need any help? God, I'm exhausted. <sighs> yeah, I don't blame you. We were on our feet for a good two, three hours. Anyone would be tired after something like that. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. No, really. Tell me, what's up? I'm starving. I could really go for a bag of chips or something. Oh, yeah. Well, I can go out and, out and grab your bag real quick. Really? I mean, if it's not too much trouble. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'll only take a minute. I'd love to do it. Really, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back. I swear, my lab group is a bunch of fucking morons. Uh-oh. That's no good. That's what comes from being the smartest one in class, though. I mean... I didn't used to think that there was such an enormous chasm of difference between myself and my peers, but today I clinched it. It hit me today, that realization. Uh-huh. What realization? Have you ever kind of found yourself in that sort of situation? You're sitting there in the middle of life, and you have this sudden burst of perspective, and you look around, and you're surrounded by nothing but fucking morons. Uh -huh. It's really sad and lonely. Really sad. Here we have all these parents paying through the nose for their stupid, lazy children to sit in chairs and stare blankly ahead at some past his prime professor who goes on and on and on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that it? Is that all you're going to say to me? You know, I'm a fairly intelligent person. 
So if you're not going to be a little more spirited, show a little more enthusiasm, then there's no point in even bothering. No, wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm listening. I just, I know what you mean. I just, just keep going, please. I, I'm just a little quiet today. No, you're quiet every day. You're pretty much always like this. Well, I just like to hear you talk. I mean, what do I want to talk for? What am I going to talk about? I just want a response that's a little more involved than, uh-huh. Absolutely, you're totally right. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. You're right, you're right. So, I uh, talked to William the other day. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. His band is playing in Chicago next week, and I have a van, and he doesn't. So he kind of asked me if I could drive them and spend the week with them in Chicago. So uh, that wouldn't bother you, me spending a week with William and his band, would it? How many other guys are in the band? Oh, like six other guys. So William and six other guys. Uh, uh -huh. I've got a big fan. But uh, I thought you didn't like William. He was so mean to you. No, no, no. We're cool now. I guess that's all right. So why do you like spending time with me? It relaxes me. I just like being around you, being able to see and to hear you. It, oh, it's my favorite thing to do. Pete, it's the only thing you do. I'm afraid to ask what you do when I'm in class. What do you do when I'm not around? Um, well, I do a lot of walking. I walk around waiting for you. I leave my house and walk to the coffee house. I walk around the park. I walk alongside the bicycle path. I walk in the mall. Oh. I see. 